trying to make general conclusion is difficult, but I think it's obvious from the discussion we had today that uh, the platform trial is a very interesting instrument for comparative effectiveness and for treatment optimization because whenever there is a need to compare more than more than two treatment the the platform trial is a perfect tool and this was uh, this was discussed in particular by Frank Frank Hulstedt. It's also a very important tool for repurposing trial and the COVID crisis was a very good opportunity to demonstrate this, uh, this aspect and also a bit more challenging. It can be also an interesting tool for registration uh, trials. Um, I wanted also to mention something that uh, we didn't discuss the issue of data sharing and uh, to, transparency, but uh, you, you have to know that we are building in the context of the EOS Live project, which is a project funded by the European Open Science Cloud, by the European Commission. We are developing a system, a repository for clinical trial data sharing in a compliant way, in a way that is compliant with the GDPR, meaning that the data can be shared and shared either as anonymized data set, if anonymization is possible, or as a anonymized data set if it is not possible to anonymize them. So we do that with um, colleagues at the University of Oslo and we build a secure uh, repository and a complex but uh, secure and GDPR compliant uh, data sharing system. And this applies for COVID because it will be part of the COVID-19 uh, data portal, but it will be then extended to other disease condition. And finally, I want to, to thank uh, all of you, meaning starting with, uh, with um, the speakers and the panelists, and uh, thank you for this excellent presentation. Thank you also to the audience for the, for the interest, for the question, for the challenges raised by the discussion. I would like to thank uh, the, the ECRIN team, and in particular, the, the program committee, meaning uh, Annette Mania from Switzerland, uh, Fionnuala Keen from Ireland, and uh, Regina Demlova from Czech Republic, because they, 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 they were the one who discussed with us the, the content of the, of the meeting and the organization of the meeting. I would like to, to thank all the ECRIN staff, uh, including the one involved in the support to the platform trial, because uh, as, um, as described, yes, this is something very demanding. I would like also to congratulate Martina, who is in charge of communication at ECRIN for the successful uh, implementation of this um, this workshop also uh, we, we we would have preferred to have this uh, as a face to face workshop and so for this reason we invite you to join uh, the next international clinical trials day around the 20th of may 2022 in berlin we have already paid the the check to book the the room so for sure we will have this meeting in berlin with or without mask but we will be happy to to welcome you in berlin uh, next year